Hello. I went on this pilgrimage during my junior year in 2019. The thing I enjoyed most, and the reason I would recommend you consider going, is that it embodies what you learn at St. Francis High School. It's one thing to learn about him in class, but walking where St. Francis walked makes it so much more meaningful. It's the old stone buildings, the people speaking Italian, and the lack of modern conveniences like McDonald's that make it so unique. For me, the most memorable part was definitely having an allergic reaction to the food while in Rome. Now, hopefully this doesn't happen to any of you. On the other hand, the most memorable positive experience I had was the time I got to spend with my friends from school. It's one thing to hang out in Buffalo, New York, but it's a completely different experience to be with your brothers going to watch the sunset over the tomb of St. Francis, or while trying to comprehend what the native Italian speakers are saying at one of the various local shops. I highly recommend you go on this trip. Uh, you will have the opportunity to live the faith in a way that you've never experienced before, uh, because going to visit the, like, the lives of the saints, where they lived, where they grew up, where they died, where they're buried, um, it's a whole different way of learning about them versus, you know, Miss Hanyu's freshman religion class and then the rest of your religion classes. So I would say it's the opportunity of a lifetime. And if you want to go and you can go, go. And then when I went, I went to Rome and CC four years ago, and my most memorable moment aside from being with my friends there, which that's priceless too. You're going to go with your classmates. There's just nothing like traveling when you're 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, all those ages, because usually you're with your friends. And my most memorable moment specifically was um, celebrating Mass on the tomb of St. Francis. So in the Basilica, Francis is buried sort of in the bottom in like a crypt. And you get to go down there and celebrate mass where he is buried. Um, and it's really simple and there's just nothing like it. There's nothing like it. And I would also say my second, if I could say, my second most memorable moment was the Colosseum. Because when you see it, you just see the beginning of Christianity and you see uh, the blood that was spilt that grew into what we have now as a church. So go to Rome, go to Assisi. Thank you. I would say that it was probably one of the greatest experiences of my life. And um, I hope that that's not underselling uh, the time there. Um, I think we can spend so much time at St. Francis, um, learning about St. Francis and his story, and we see books and movies, and um, we get so many thoughts in our, our minds, our heads. I think this is the chance, an experience where it can really hit us in the heart um, about really what the spirit of St. Francis means. And it's not just a historical figure from 800 years ago, um, but rather his spirit's alive today and his spirit is alive in us. Um, and then the, the greatest experience from my time on the pilgrimage, um, I think probably was the great privilege that when we went to uh, the Basilica of St. Francis, um, it's three layers and on the basement bottom layer is where the tomb of St. Francis is. And so it was being able to, to celebrate mass there, um, with the other friars and, and the guys from St. Francis. God bless you. Hope uh, you'll be able to go. Hope you're thinking and praying about it. Know of my prayers as well. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to reach out at all. God bless you. Bye.